course, the app can be downloaded from the Google's Google Play Store or the Apple Store. To enter the app, all you need to do is enter your email address. So in this case, I'll put in my email address. Once you have entered your email address, you click login and that takes you directly into the portal. Now, at the top, you're gonna see the location field. Now, if you can't find your poll number, what we encourage persons to do is to, to actually get the poll number. If you can't find the poll number, there's a location option that if you click it, it will just take you to where the nearest poll is supposed to be. But in, this, in this case, I'm gonna just enter a, a random poll number. Of course, the poll number is that yellow tag on the poll, the alpha numeric tag. It has three letters and three numbers. So whether you've entered your poll number or you've selected the nearest location, you come down to the assets that you would have to then determine um, the condition of these assets. So under the poll field, you will see that the options are good, leaning, rotten, damaged, check required or fallen. Based on the condition of the poll, you would select the most appropriate option. So if I'm doing a damage assessment and in this case, I'm going to select the select damaged as the option for the poll. You're going to then come down to the transformer for those of you who may not know what a transformer lo lo looks like or even you may not know what the pole looks like we've provided some pictorial representations of what these assets are supposed to look like so you can see even with the pole you can see the, the vertical icon with the two crossbars the transformer is the sometimes you will see like a gray can on the, on the pole that is what we call a transformer so for the transformer options we have good bad not applicable and check required because i know what a transformer is i'll say that the transformer in this case is good the conductor is simply the power line in this case you would select if the power line is good or bad of course if it's broken or down it will be bad but for the purposes of this demonstration i'm going to say that the conductor is good the street light for this assessment i would say is not good so i'm going to leave it as no is the pole accessible by utility truck this is important because we need to understand if we would need to do a further drone assessment or if we can dispatch our crews to to further assess the damage so i would say in this case that the pole is indeed accessible by a utility truck Coming down, you're gonna get some fields which are related to the dwelling of the customer. So in this case, you're gonna say if the meter is good or bad. There's also the icon in the corner that can show you what the meter looks like. If you click on that icon, you'll get a, a bigger graphical representation of the meter. In this case, the meter is good. And if you can identify your meter number, you just enter it here. In this case, I'm gonna put a random number all right so this structural damage field asks the customer to identify if it's high low or no damage to the house and this in this case I'm gonna say that it is low the roof condition this helps to give us more information about the condition of your house of course if your roof is fully in, intact it would help us to determine if you'll be ready for um, installation but in this case, I'm gonna say that the roof condition is fully intact, yes. And we also ask if the house is a single story, a multi-story or a two-story house. And what happens is that sometimes after a natural disaster, you may have a two-story house and the top story is missing the roof. However, the bottom story may still be intact. So even though you, your, the roof of your house is gone, we can come and still install power at the bottom story. So that, that helps us to determine if we can come and restore your power to you. So in this case, I'm gonna say it is a two story. And I'm gonna say yes, that my house is ready for install. And further down the fields, you will see that it asks you to provide additional details. So if you wanna give us additional directions to your house, you can do that. There's also a field which asks the customer to identify the level of technical skills. So we would know then that if you have zero technical skills that we would, we would definitely have to go and do a further assessment and of course at the bottom where you see um, choose file you can take pictures of your house or of the pole or of the power line so that you could help us to, to get a, a more realistic assessment of what is out there so once you've filled out all the fields you will then submit 
and it goes directly into our system for us to conduct further assessment. And that's basically what the customer needs to do in order to submit that, that assessment report.